Hello everyone, welcome to Rocks Online. My name is Sadie. I'm a world traveling teacher and performer of the incredible and beautiful art form of belly dance. So today I'm really excited to share with you five of the most classic belly dance movements. So if you're somebody who's always maybe had an interest in belly dance, but you've never had the opportunity to try it before, maybe you've just heard about it and you're just thinking about giving it a try, this is the perfect class for you. We're gonna break down five of the movements that really come from the classic rock sharky repertoire, which is the traditional vocabulary that we now see in our modern belly dance movements. So people like Shakira, people like myself, and all the YouTube dancers, we're really doing a more modern stylized version of this classic rock sharky repertoire that comes from Egypt. So if you go somewhere like Egypt and Lebanon, you're gonna see the men, the women, the grandmas, the grandpas, they're all dancing and they're all dancing beautifully. It's just organically and naturally in their body. They grow up with this stuff and it looks so natural on them. So my goal today is just to show you these five movements, break them down a little bit, but I don't want you to think about it too much. I want you to just follow along, kind of trust your body. So really center in, focus on your posture, focus on staying connected to the ground and allowing your body to intu intuitively move with you because I think you're gonna be surprised at how well your body can do this. So let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, let's get started with two of the classic five movements. And what we're gonna do is make a big exterior outer hip circle here. So our whole pelvic region is gonna stay in neutral as we push by shifting our weight from our toes to our heels and the outside edges of our feet. So in this case, I'm going counterclockwise. I'm pushing my hips around in a nice big circle. I really want to equalize the circle so that as far forward as I go is as far back as I'm going to go, side and side. So if you just kind of let your body naturally react, this should feel a little intuitive. It might not come total naturally. You probably might throw some other things in there. Some people kind of want to sway their hips and their pelvis along with it, which we're not going to do, but just try to follow along naturally. This is just a tutorial just to have fun and kind of experience some of these great classic movements. So pushing the hips around, notice how my pant line stays parallel with the floor. I'm really feeling my weight shifting. Outer edge toes, outer edge heels, outer edge toes, outer edge heels. Notice my pelvis isn't shifting. I'm hinging at my hips when I come over. And then I'm slightly leaning back. You can even bend your knees a little bit on that front. If I show it from the side here, you can really see that nice big range of motion. It's a very big external movement. See my upper body is slightly leaning forward and back. So if I slow this down and I go front, see how my shoulders come back? And I go back, see how my shoulders come front. But I'm keeping my back straight, I'm keeping my spine straight. And then I'm gonna go side, same thing here, my shoulders are gonna lean over to the opposite side and side, and my shoulders are gonna go to the opposite side. And I'm still keeping my spine straight. So my spine doesn't really change, it's more this kind of hinging at the hips, leaning over with that natural counterbalance. So let's take it to the other direction. Front side, back side. Front side, back side. Let's just let our arms be nice and soft, so shoulders relaxed. And just bring your arms up at your side at a position that feels comfortable. Push all the way around. Again, feel that weight shifting from the toes, outer edges of the foot, heel, outer edges of the foot trying not to lose your balance. So you don't want to go so big that you feel like you lose balance on this. Nice big circle. Really visualize and see that circle you're drawing with the pelvis as it comes around. So that's our circle. Circles are a big part of Rock Sharky, a big part of the belly dance vocabulary. Should feel good. It should feel like you're kind of giving yourself a little massage, getting into some muscles that maybe you don't normally use on a daily basis. So if you need some time to practice, you can go really slow with your circles. And 
and take it to the other direction. It's also a really nice stretch. If you work at a desk or you're even somebody who stands a lot at work, you can just take a moment to do this. And in fact, it's something you'll see people do naturally. I very often see people naturally doing the stretch, even if they've never done belly dance before, because it really targets a lot of areas of the side and the back. Let's take this one into the other classic movement, which is a figure eight. And the figure eight we're gonna do is a horizontal one. So if you imagined a figure eight on the floor, lying on the floor, you're gonna trace that shape with your hips. So your left hip is gonna make the left side of the figure eight and your right hip is gonna make the right side of the figure eight. The mechanics of the movement is gonna be a twist and a sliding out, pushing that hip out to the side. Slide, 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 twist, 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 slide, 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 twist and twist and twist and twist. So again, you can take some time on your own to practice these movements. Again, they should feel somewhat natural and intuitive. Not to say that it's gonna look just like mine right now, but twisting and sliding are natural motions that our body can do. Twist, twist, slide and slide. If we wanna make that figure eight, we're gonna think of going front to back, change front to back change front to back. That means I'm gonna twist and position my left hip forward, slide it out, bring it to the back, and now here in this position, I'm uh, twisted, I'm gonna cut through the center, shift my weight onto the right foot, bring that hip from front to back, shift the weight from my right to my left, bring my hip from front to the back by pushing it out to the side also. Shift the weight, front side, back. Shift the weight, Front slide it out, bring it back. Shift the weight, front slide it out, bring it back. Shift the weight, front slide it out, bring it back. So using this natural body mechanics of shifting the weight is really gonna assist the kind of organic pathway of the movement. So we can actually isolate the footwork out and do this figure eight without the shift of the weight. That one's a little bit harder, a little bit more internal core work. This is what we get into more in the technique tutorials takes a little bit more focus and concentration where this kind of structural figure eight where you're using the weight change is a little bit more natural. So again, this one should, shouldn't feel too strange to your body. Again, it might not come out looking quite like mine yet, but you should be able just to get that natural rhythm and momentum of the hips pushing out to the side, change the weight right, change the weight left, change the weight right, twist, change the weight left, twist back, change the weight right, twist back, change the weight left, twist back, and also I'm sliding the hip out because if I just shift and twist, then I just kind of get this and I don't get much of a figure eight. So I still have to push the hip out. And that just kind of feels like when you sit into your hip, we all do this where we sort of relax into our hip every day to conserve energy, our body likes to do that. So we all know what that feels like. So if you can just kind of Play around with sitting into your hips, shifting the weight, and then put that twist, sit into the hip. Sit into the hip, twist it back. Change, sit into the hip, twist it back. Change, sit into the hip, twist it back. And that's our horizontal figure eight that goes front to back. And these two transition really nicely into each other. So for example, if we take the accent on the left, left, right, left, right, change front, and back and front and back again, figure eight, left, right, left, right, push front and back, slow it down. We're gonna go left and right, push front and back again. Left and right, push front and back. I really feel my weight shifting, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Figure eight left and right, push front with the circle, pull back, change sides, slow, right and left and push, circle, pull it back and around. Figure eight right 
and left. Circle front, side, back, little faster. Figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. Push and pull and push again. Two full figure eights, a right, left, right, left. Two circles, two. Figure eight, figure eight. And push, pull it back, push, pull it back. One more, figure eight, figure eight. And push, and push. So that covers two of the hallmark movements of Rock Sharky, our figure eight and our circle. There's going to be two more movements that we're gonna to put together in a little pattern, and then a bonus move for our five. So let's start with our weight mostly here in the right foot, and I'm just gonna show you to the front here. So put all of your weight into the right foot, have just a soft bend in the knee, and here I just kinda of want you to bounce your left hip, your unweighted hip. Again, let's bring those arms up. Kind of bounce that hip down. Control it though. You don't want to get out of control and bounce too much. You don't want a whole lot of reverb happening in the upper body. Again, it's a very natural, feminine, and relaxed dance. Meaning I'm not going to have a lot of tension and, and reaction going in other body parts. It's very isolated into the hips and the torso, which is why we call it belly dance, because that's where the movements are focalized and happening. So I'm really weighted here in the right. Mostly using my oblique and my core here, but if you feel that you wanna kind of use a little bit of your leg here to help push that hip up, just keep it small and relaxed. Feel that little bit of bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Let's take the arms up, down. And again, we have tutorials where we really break down the mechanics of this move. We work on building the muscles and the stamina and the coordination to get some very technically beautiful isolated hip drops. Drop, 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 five, six, seven, switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Weight it on the left. You're gonna just let that right hip bounce down on the beat. So you're gonna come up and release on the beat. Drop, 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 drop. Drop, drop. If you really wanted to slow this one down, you're having a hard time getting the rhythm of that. Up, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, three, four. So right now my accent is on the up. We're gonna switch it to the down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. When that starts to feel good, you can bring it up to speed, but just kind of keep an eye on that posture Try not to let too much stuff happen. The smaller you make it, the more relaxed and controlled you're gonna be able to keep it. Drop, 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 drop. So again, it's not to say that these things um, come super easily, but you should be able to just get a little bit of an intuitive movement pattern here just by watching and following along and starting to feel how that movement works inside of your own body. Drop, 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 drop. Five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna combine that move here shortly with another very gorgeous movement known as the undulation. So to break the undulation down, and you may have seen these, it goes like this. And it's not just, um, exclusive to Rock Sharky. You can sometimes see these movements in a few other dance forms. What we're really doing, if we break this down into two parts, basically is a cat and a cow exercise where you can contract everything in and then you release it out. So you can contract the pelvis and the rib cage in, open rib cage and pelvis out. Contract in, open, in, open, in, open, in, Open or close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. If we try it just in those two components there, close and open, and a little faster. Close, open, close, open, close. You can even allow your knees to bend a little bit to create space to tuck that pelvic in. 
So on this one, you even you want to remember that we're belly dancing. We're going to keep the focus on the hips and the belly and the pelvis. So really focus more on the pelvis, bringing that pelvis in. Close, 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 open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, close, close. Now see if you can imitate what I'm doing here. Rather than just kind of two-dimensionally open and close like this, I'm filling it in with a little bit of a starting in the upper body and the pelvis follows. Rib cage comes in, pelvis comes in, rib cage comes out, pelvis comes out. In, in, out, out. So it's a four part move now instead of a one, two, one, two, three, four. So again, when we start to break it down like this, it gets a little complex. So for now, just see if you can follow that motion of the close, open, close, open, close, close, release, release, in, in, release, release. Or think of that close, open, rolling down, rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis, release, rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis, especially the pelvis. Rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis, back in neutral, rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis. Let's tilt our body to the side. Let's step again on that right foot. See if you can add that little undulating movement here. Again, it should feel good. It should be like, oh wow, that's, that's pretty nice. That's something you could incorporate into your daily life. Give yourself a little back massage. Help to strengthen your abdominal wall, which also supports your back and your spine. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Roll it down, roll it down. Notice how I'm also doing a tiny level change, bending my standing knee. Going in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, change sides. Put that weight in the left foot. Contract, in, release, in, release, in, in. Now try to roll it down. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Think in, out, close. Open, close, open, close, open, in, out, in, 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 out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, allowing that standing knee to just bend a little bit to just help with the natural momentum of the movement. Down, and down, and down. Let's add that hip drop here. So just to keep our arms nice and simple, you can bring one hand to the back of the head, one hand out to the side, or you can take both hands out to the side. Just allow that right hip to bounce, weighted in the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, change to undulation. One, two, one, two, one, two, back to hip drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, again. And undulation, down, up, down, up, down, switch sides. Over here on the right, same thing, arms out, here. Let's bounce that left hip, six, seven, one, Another eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Undulation goes out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Hip drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you smile? And undulations. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out. In. Very nice. So, so far we've covered four of the five. We've got our big circles, we've got our figure eights, we've got our hip drops, and we've got our undulation. Last one, maybe the most exciting one, is the shimmy. So our shimmy 
is you're gonna alternate the knees. So you're going to be uh, bending and straightening your knees. So if you just kind of practice that there, this mechanic of bend and straight of the knee, and this action of the knees is going to reverb up into the hips. So you do have to let the hips sway in reaction to what the knee is doing. So if you just practice this here, really be mindful of your posture though. You want to keep your pelvis forward. So you don't want to have your pelvis back here like this. This makes all kinds of wonky, funky stuff happen. So pull the pelvis in. Softly bend the knees. Bend and straight, bend and straight, bend and straight, bend and straight. And from there, you just start to go a little faster. You start to make the distance between the bend and straight shorter the faster you go. So I don't have time to really do this big of a movement. So I'm actually gonna keep my knees in a bend position. I'm never gonna hyperextend all the way back. Just slightly, just enough to actually get my hips to react. And then I'm gonna start to go a little faster. And up to what we would say are the 16th notes in the music, which are one e and a two e and a 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 one e and a two e and a. Okay, so the shimmy is um, definitely one of our most impressive moves in rock sharky belly dancing. It takes people some time to learn this one. Some people are naturals, but very few. I actually was a delayed shimmier. It was my, uh, it was the move I had to work the hardest on to get. And for me, the trick has always been leg strength. So if I have strong legs, my shimmy comes much more natural. So it can also be kind of a good diagnostic tool to see, uh, check in with your quad strength, your inner thigh strength, and your hamstrings, because it re really requires those muscles to be strong to maintain the rhythmic consistency of your shimmy. So just giving that a try, stop again, find your posture, soft bend in the knees, tuck the pelvis forward, take an inhale, drop those shoulders, bend and straighten those knees, let your hips move. You can start right there. If this is what you've got right now, that's perfect. Then you can bump it up a notch from there. One and two and 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 and one and a two and a 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 one and a two and a. If the hip shimmy is not coming along for you today, another one you can try is shoulder shimmy. You can also start there. It's a press of the shoulder forward. One, two, one, two, one, two, up to speed. One and two and one and two and one and two and shimmy time. One and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. The real trick here is separating the upper body from lower body because a lot of people want to do the two like this. So really take the power from the floor under your feet on your hip shimmy and take the leverage from your shoulders on your shoulder shimmy. Okay, the shimmy is probably the trickiest one of these five classic belly dance moves. So take your time with this one, join in on some of the other shimmy tutorials if you'd like to really work out your shimmy. And now we're gonna put all these moves together in a fun combination. Let's go ahead and put this combination together. So starting weighted in the right, we're gonna do 16 counts of the hip drop into 16 counts of the undulation, into 16 counts of the big pelvic circle, into 16 counts of the figure eight, and then we're gonna shimmy in place also for 16 counts, switch sides. So here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, hip drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more of those, and we go into our undulation, nice and slow. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, five, six, circle counterclockwise. Five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, figure eight to the left, front to back. Eight more, then we shimmy. Five, six, seven, shimmy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
two, two, three, four, five, six. Prepare for the right hip drops. Five, six, seven, and again. Five, six, seven, undulation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and again. Get ready for big hip circle on the right. Front, back, front, back. Two more. Figure eights front to back on the right. Figure eight. Five, six, seven, shimmy. Add some arms if you want. Let's do the whole sequence again, this time for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Undulation for eight. Two, three, four, five, six. Circle for eight. Push, pull, push. Figure eights front to back on the left. Shimmy. Then we change for the right. Five, six, hip drops. One, five, six, seven, undulation. Five, six, big circle. Push, pull, push, pull, figure eight. And shimmy. Awesome job with that one. Just know that you can speed it, uh, you can speed it up a little bit if you like. You can also slow it down. So if you love those five classic belly dance moves, join us on some of the other tutorials where we really break it down. And thank you so much for joining me.